हे मेकर्स दिस इज थ्रुवीन एंड वेलकम टू माय पावर बीआई ट्यूटोरियल स्टेप बाय स्टेप ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज यू आर वाचिंग सिक्स एपिसोड ऑफ दिस सीरीज एंड इन दिस एपिसोड आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ यू कैन वर्क विथ फिल्टर्स इन द पावर बी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू वॉट इज फिल्टर इन द पावर बी आई एंड वॉट आर द रियल यूज केसेस अराउंड दैट वी विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लोर ऑल द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ अवेलेबल फिल्टर लाइक विजुअल लेवल फिल्टर रिपोर्ट लेवल फिल्टर पेज लेवल फिल्टर इन डिटेल इन टू दिस एपिसोड अलॉन्ग विद दैट वी विल ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट द स्लाइसर इन पावर बी आई एंड वी विल ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अवर स्लाइसर वर्सिज फिल्टर दैट वी आर अप्लाइंग ओवर हियर so without further delay let's get started but before that if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far do follow me because these are the platform where i am uploading short content on power platform so here i am on my power bi report and this is the report page that we have created in our previous episode if you want to look at how we created it just watch my previous episode episode number 5 all right now let's get start the journey for the today's visualization all right so let me just add one visualization on my page over here so i am just adding one tree map visualization right now on my page over here okay and over here let's say for an example i just wanted to uh, add a couple of things over here like let's say i just want to add one manufacturer column over here and i would like to add one revenue column over here in the as a values and basically it is creating this kind of um, a tree map for me okay and now you can see that this particular tree map is showing me the different manufacturers revenue over here all right but let's say for an example into this visualization for that specific visual i only want to filter out the data which will only show some uh, competitor i'm um, top competitive manufacturers as well as i just wanted to show the data for any specific uh, vendor then how can i do that okay so over here to add any kind of filtration that okay if you wanted to not show or if you just wanted to filter out your any visual in the world of power bi you can simply apply the visual level filter and for that you just need to keep your filter pen open so if you observe your filter pen over here you can able to see three option number 1 this is called as a filter on this visual which is called as your visual level filter number 2 is filter on your page this is called as your page level filter and number 3 filter on all pages which means that it apply the filter on all the pages and this is called as a report level filter now let's try to explore all this filter in detail with the example so first of all let's talk about the visual level filter so for visual level filter you always need to select up your visual first second whenever you uh, uh, select your visual whichever property that you have configured by default they are available over here as a part of the filter over here let's say for an example apart from that you want to add your additional extra parameter over here then in that case you just need to drag that column over here so let's say over here let's say if we just wanted to show the manufacturer which are top 10 based on the uh, revenue then maybe you can apply this kind of filter over here that okay in uh, basically the visual level filter you can do basic filtering advanced filtering and top n so let's say i'm selecting top n and i'm just selecting top 5 manufacturers by their revenue okay so let me just add by the revenue and let's apply a filter and as soon as you apply the filter you can see that your visual is filtered based on the condition that you have applied over here let me just add 10 over here top 10 okay and apply so it is showing me the top 10 manufacturers over here all right now let's say for an example here you can apply the multiple condition as well okay so you just applied like okay top 10 manufacturers uh, by revenue okay so this is one visual filter you applied okay let's say for an example if you want to add one more additional 
called okay uh you you just want to drag any column over here and let's say if you just wanted to show here that okay it should show only these two categories of uh vendor like top can uh, categories top competitors and when estrel limited uh manufacturer then you can apply this filter as well so you know you can apply the multiple filter depending on your need i'm not doing multiple at this point i'm just keeping the one filter at this point on the screen okay but this is what the overall idea about the visual level filter so that filtration effect is applied at the visual level now let me tell you one more interesting thing over here so whenever you look at your filter pen over here on the right hand side okay generally in which scenario we are using this filter pen okay sometimes what happen is your end user also can change the value from your filter pen because the filter pen when you publish it if it is not uh, you know hide from here it is visible for the user and you know people can change the value from here and uh, change the chart according to their need okay but let's say for an example in some cases in the real world we are using this filter pen to build our logic that okay i have some chart but in that chart i only want to suit 2023 data at the time you apply visual level filter and at the time you want that okay your end user should not be able to change this thing so at that time at filter pen uh, filter level you can always see this kind of lock icon okay so you can simply lock this thing and you can simply hide this thing so what happen is this will not available as a front end for end user to change it it just lock it only as a part of logic you have implemented that filter on your visualization okay so this is all about the uh, you know visual level filter okay now let me add one more chart on my screen over here so this time i want to see the data uh, by the time dimension so let's say for an example over i do have one date column so let me just drag one date column and let me just add the revenue okay and let me convert into this kind of chart over here all right so basically it is showing me the revenue by year it is just showing me this data okay now over here it is basically showing the revenue for all the manufacturers and you know this is the overall summary looks like all right and we know that you know our reports are created in a fashion that when you select any appropriate thing you know your other reports are filtered automatically over here all right so you know i just added this chart over here and this is how it looks like all right now sometimes we have a need that okay you know you created this visualization so let's say this is one visuals uh, one more visuals we have added over here okay sometimes let's say i just wanted to uh, add some more visual on the page like okay i'm just adding one product visual and let's say i just want to use it like every product wise revenue okay so i'm just adding into this fashion and i'm just adding into this kind of uh chart okay or maybe let me just show into this kind of table over here okay product by revenue over here all right so i i'm just having one more table visualization on my page all right and now let me just add one slicer as well for myself so i'm just adding one slicer and in that i'm just adding some manufacturer value over here so i'm just adding manufacturer over here so it is showing all the manufacturers <coughs> over here or available into the this particular report page okay so i'm just adding this four visualization on the page okay now let's explore the second um type of filter on the filter pen which is available as a filter on this page which means that page level filter now what do we mean by page level filter so whatever filter you will apply over here it will be applicable for this entire page okay now to demonstrate that let me just do one thing i'm selecting my this tree map visual that i have added on the page and i'm just going to the property section over here and over here i'm just turning on the data label okay <clears throat> so at least you can read the value over here that okay for each particular manufacturer how much is the revenue okay so you can see some of the value in the billions over here all right same way over here as well let me just turn on my data label so we can see read some values over here all right now what i want to implement at the scenario is okay this is the page you have but you know for this entire page i wanted to show some sort of filtering as a part of my logic as it should show only the data for 2020 not any other years data should be reflected over here all right 
then what can I do is for all I want to apply this filter for all the visualization on this page. So at the time I can use this filter level uh, filter on this page or it is called as a page level filter over here. Okay, so now let me simply drag my year column over here. So I'm just dragging my date column over here. Okay, and over here I just apply some sort of advanced filtering over here. And I can just make it happen that okay, my year equals to this column. You can apply into this fashion. Okay, or even if you just want to apply any specific date wise, you can apply that as well. Okay, now let me do one thing. Instead of adding that date completely, you know, date has this hierarchy. Let me just drag year from that. I'm just dragging year over here and I'm just doing basic filtering. And over here, I'm just showing like 2020 and 2021 over here. Okay. I want to so show two years of data, 2020 and 2021. If you need only 2020, you just select this out. And you can see that as soon as you do that, all the filter available on this page is taking this particular reflection so filter i mean page level filter is applying the filter on all the visualization available on the page so all the visuals are impacted due to that and if it is your logical change you can just lock this filter and hide this one so end user can't change it out okay but this is what the concept of the filter level visualization okay or this is the concept of sorry page level filter okay now over here let me just show a couple of your data so that at least I can my chart looks presentable. So I'm showing the data from 2017 to 2021. Okay, five years of data I'm showing it and this is how it looks like. All right. So this is what page level filter. Now let's go one more level up from here and try to understand the report level filter. So for report level filter where it is applicable. Okay, so report level filter is something that on your filter pen you can apply into this section called filter on all pages. And what it does is simply it applies the filter on all the pages of your Power BI report, which means that, okay, this is my Power BI report file. Currently, I am on my page number three. Similar way, I have my page number two over here like this. Okay, and similar way, I have my page number one over here like this. Okay, let me turn on the data label over here for each visualization so you can understand it better. So this is the data label over here on this page and this is the data label available on this particular page over here. Okay, and let me turn on for this as well over here. Okay, now what I want to implement as a overall scenario that okay, uh, no matter uh, what page you are in. I want to apply some sort of filter which is only showing the US and Australia's data. I don't want to see any other country's data. And for this entire report level, I want to apply that filter. Okay. So it's not only limited to one page for all the pages where I'm going. I want to see only the data for US and Australia. Okay. At the time, I can just apply the filter on all the pages over here. And for that, I can simply drag my column on filter on all pages. And over here, you know, you can see this kind of option. All right. From here, let's select Australia and US. So I'm selecting Australia and I'm selecting USA. So it is showing the two countries data only. Okay. And now if you even go to your first page, you know, it is just showing you this two country data to you. Over here as well, it is showing you only these two countries data over here for you. Right. So this is how you can apply your report level filter for yourself. OK. And these are the mainly three type of filters available at your Power BI level, like visual level, page level and report level. So many logic building we are doing with this kind of filtering mechanism inside the world of Power BI. So that's it for today. And today to summarize this thing, what are the filters in the Power BI? It is basically allowing you to control what data to be shown on your report or visual you can define it via filters and mainly three levels of filter visual level filter we already talked about we also talk about the page level filter and we also talk about the report level filter you know you, this is what you can simply use it in your day-to-day -day routine okay and now there is one more question arising in our mind that okay 
Dhruvin. Generally, in the Power BI report, we are having this kind of slicers as well, right? And we are having filters as well over here, okay? So, what is the difference between this slicers we are adding versus this filter pen that we are having okay let me tell you one thing so whenever you look at this filter pen filter pen can be useful for two purposes number one is if you are building any logic <clears throat> and if you also want that your user can directly apply some filter on that and filter data based on that at that time you can use filter pen if you hide the filter pen using this eye icon, at that time filter pen will not be visible for the end user. Okay, at that time if you want to apply any kind of filtering mechanism or slicing or dicing the data, probably you can use the slicer visualization on the page. Okay, now, so that's it for slicers and filters. I would say generally in the Power BI report when you are having too much filters to be applied and you know you don't want to use your real estate of your report at the time enable this filter pen for users so you know your user can simply filter out from your filter pen and slice and dice your data for yourself all right so that's overall thing about the filters in power bi now it's the time for quiz you need to answer the quiz question in the comment section so the first question we have in this quiz is which filter type applies only to a single visual in the Power BI? Option A, page level filter. Option B, report level filter. Option C, visual level filter. And option D, slicer. Question 2. You want to apply filter to all the visuals across the, all the pages in the Power BI report. Then which filter will you use? Option A, page level. Option B, report level. Option C, visual level. Option D, drill through. Question 3. Where do you configure your page level filter? Option A. On visual directly. Option B. In Power Query Editor. Option C. In the filter pen under page level filters. And Option D. In Data View. Question 4. Can slicers override a report level filter in the Power BI? Option A. Yes. Option B. No. Option C. Only if slicer is sync. Option D. Only for numeric column. You just need to try this out by your own. Okay. And answer me in the, tell me in the comment section. Okay. Question number five. Where do you access and configure all three types of filters in your Power BI desktop? Option A. Data pen. Option B. Visualization pen. Option C. Filters pen. Option D. Modeling tab. Alright. So, you just need to answer all these questions into the chat window so that's all about today's session if you are enjoying this session and if you think it values your time make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel and follow me for more such tips and tricks on power platform and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram if you are looking for any paid training or looking for premium membership check out the website link over there on my channel cover page so see you all in my next session with some amazing content till then have a great day Goodbye.